everybody, or should I say afternoon now, because we were supposed to meet in the morning, but somebody was late by two hours. I'm at Canopy Lake Park on a hot 92 degree day, which is my favorite kind of weather. It could be hotter in my opinion. And we're gonna just experience this park on a hot day. We pack bathing suits if we wanna try the water park, but I can bet that it's busy. Hey, who, who's that? <laughs> Anyway, as I was saying, it's a hot day, so we're experiencing this park, which is like a very wet, water parky type of uh, theme park. So there's like flume rides and stuff to do too. So we're gonna give you all the tips and tricks there. But Paul and I gotta start this off the right way by doing our mind train. We do like dark rides. He's not even paying attention. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go into this mine. I got front view now. Ah! It's actually pretty warm in here right now. It kind of feels like a mine. My buddy, my train. This is how we like to start our day. I would love to take a dip in that little waterfall, though. I don't trust that guy. Oh, it feels good. See, that's my buddy. He hangs out with me at night. See what I was just saying, it's a pop. <laughs> I think he's yeah, he's vomiting, like what's happening? He's got a lot of heads. That's a great animatronic actually. It's blinking. I love you, you're so cool! We're off the ride and they're going to use the bathroom and I just got distracted because I found the arcade and I couldn't help it because I saw two cabinets with Miss Pac-Man in it. And as you know, I'm a Pac-Man fiend. And even better, there is an original X-Men vs. Street Fighter arcade machine here with and the original Marvel vs. Capcom. This is making my life right now. Look how cool this old ski ball machine is. Oh my god, it's so retro, I love it. No way, the original Star Wars trilogy arcade game. Ah! With the seat and everything. Oh my god. I love this so much. Okay, so we regrouped uh, after I got a little distracted by the arcade, and I saw there was like barely a line for the pirate ship, which is, as you all know, one of my two favorite classic flat ride rides. So we're gonna go on this pirate ship. <laughs> we had a very scary pirate ship ride. We were right in the middle where you really don't feel like you're going high or low at all. It's very nice. It's like sitting in a hammock. We're waiting for the flume ride now because that's like one of our favorite rides here. And down here, people are just tossing their coins in like a wishing well. <laughs> if we throw a penny in, do we, do we get something? Do our wishes come true? At least a free soda. Yeah, free soda, okay. Yeah. Paul just pointed out to this to me, but there's an infamous gumball wall. Drop number one. Woo! Woo! Whoa! Oh, it's sprinkling on me. Nice and chilly. <laughs> nice and chilly. And then we go on this nice little river ride. <laughs> Here we go into the Cave of Wonders. Woo! Woo! Ah, here we go. Woo! Whoa! Oh, I slid forward. <laughs> Man, I just like got right up on a pole right now. <laughs> that was me. Oh, it's. Oh! We were thinking about going to Castaway Island today, but judging by how it's a sea of people in there, I don't think it's gonna happen. That is crazy. So let's go on some rides. I'm down. Short, you know what? If there's more people going and streaming into the water park, that means there's going to be less lines for the rides, which so far has been true. All right, so we're making a stop back at the Pride Clam Shop. All right, so after a little bit of a wait time, uh, I did get some fish tacos. Again, Paul pointed out I could have gotten something else, but I was kind of like, this is the best thing on that menu. It was a lot faster than it was last time. Like, Adam's stuff came out real quick, and you got the clam strips, which is pretty good. They were actually really big, too. It didn't look like much, but they were, like, big. It's better than when we were at, like, Compounds, and he ordered, like, what was it? The, the It was something, the yeah, ribs? The rib. He ordered ribs, and I it was, like, this like big. Like yeah, and it was like $15 for that. The crazy thing is, is I've got like the, uh, it was actually $20 for that. <laughs> that's not, that's ridiculous. Whereas this was like 15 bucks and it's a full meal. So I'm is, happy with that. Anyway, I'm excited to eat some food. It's good, but it's not as good as the last time. I don't know. We were also, we were also inhaling it. 
because it was pouring out. So maybe I didn't have time to really sit with the taste. The rain made a little extra fish gravy. Yeah, right? It made it that much tastier. I know, it just turned into <laughs> soup. It is definitely getting hotter by the minute. And uh, we were gonna go on Untamed, but there's it's not running at the moment. So I'm like, let's go on Cannonball because it's hot out. And Cannonball does have a long wait, but there's a canopy. So you'll be in the shade the whole time. But for now, we're gonna go stand in some shade and then go on the oldest wooden coaster in this park. Look at this. You'll be standing here for a while, but you'll be cool, which is good because Adam's overheating already. <laughs> I'm like, I'll just stay in the sun. But today's purpose is to try and stay cool. I just have to share what their mascots look like here. Lasso hand up and turn it around. Ooh, why is this so slow? There it goes. That's a little bit better. Watch out, Minnie Mouse, I mean, Molly Mouse has some moves. Sticking to the 90 degree theme, we're gonna go on the Wave Blaster. We still have not gone on the Boston Tea Party, and in fact, I think that's where we need to go next. Like, I'm ready for that. Not fake waves. If you're feeling like the sunlight's getting to you, you can shoot right off into the sun. That's what we're gonna do. What is this called? The Star Screamer? Star Blaster. The Star Blaster. Shooting off into the stars, like Team Rocket. sprinkle i've watched multiple people walk up this line and they're like this line looks too long it's maybe like 20 minutes tops and then they leave and i'm like yeah but if you wait in line you'll get wet multiple times it's like the queue line is also part of the ride oh. it didn't hit us <laughs> people are ducking we're just sitting there like taking it like champs we waited five hours to do that we cooked in the sun and it was totally worth it we are soaked we feel great that's paul's little trick he takes a little plastic bag and puts all his stuff in there again i put my feet underneath the bench not wet i wish this place had like frozen lemonade because that is what i've been craving for the past five hours and they do not have that here as far as i know so before i complete this day i gotta get some pinball action and i brought cash in this time to actually make it happen there it goes just like old times, it doesn't take the bill easily. Uh. Woo -hoo -hoo! Well, I'm heading back to my car now, and as you can see, it was so crowded today, mostly for the water park, that they put us out in the grass parking lot, like where the buses used to go on field trips. So I am headed home because I gotta go play with my puppy. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. It was a beautiful day. I love it when it's this hot. It's Florida weather, which is my favorite. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. I play video games over there. I'm a gamer and I love having company while I play games. And if you want to support me and my adventures on this channel, please check out my Patreon because anything you can tip helps me continue making videos like this one. Remember everybody, every day is an adventure and live your best life.